Los grupos con más riesgo de mortalidad son los adultos mayores y las personas con obesidad, hipertensión, diabetes y enfermedades crónicas. Por eso pone en práctica estas recomendaciones. Aliméntate saludablemente con una dieta balanceada para acercarte a tu peso ideal. Haz actividades al aire libre. Así respiras aire fresco y recibes algo de sol, lo que tu cuerpo necesita para producir vitamina D. Toma por lo menos 2 litros de agua al día para mantener tus riñones saludables. Reduce el estrés dedicándote tiempo a ti mismo, por ejemplo, haciendo yoga o leyendo un libro. Trata de dormir no menos de 6 horas al día. Incluye cítricos en tu dieta, como limones, naranjas o mandarinas. Evita el consumo de bebidas alcohólicas, alimentos altos en azúcar o en grasas saturadas. Hoy más que nunca, debemos cuidarnos entre todos. Mantente saludable. Gobierno de El Salvador. That, of course, is the official response by the government of El Salvador to the sickness going around. And I never thought I would ever say this, but the, the government here ha has a point. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Ukradowski here of WeArchange.org, and we got a lot of important information to get into today as it looks like the average citizen has had enough of the lies, hypocrisy, and abuse. What's the government's response to that? Well... They're doubling down. We're going to be talking about that. The scary events unfolding right now in Germany, which the United States looks to copy their homework. With, of course, New York leading the way. Not a surprise, as, of course, it's run by criminal mafiosos who are above the law, which leads us perfectly into our first story, as today we are finding out that disgraced butcher of New York, as some people have called him, as, of course, he sent sick patients into nursing homes during the peak of the crisis. This ex-New York governor Andrew Cuomo was just cleared of charges relating to the 15,500 people that have died because of his reckless decisions that directly placed them in dangerous situations that led them to lose their lives as the Manhattan District Attorney just closed their investigation into the Andrew Como nursing home death scandal, announcing that there will be no charges brought against Creepy Como. This, of course, is an absolute travesty of injustice, as, of course, the Manhattan DA is actively trying to go after Trump, while, of course, just excusing and covering up the malicious governor's action that led to over 15,500 people dying. Now, I don't know what the Manhattan DA was, was thinking here, since, of course, this was a move made by Andrew Como that led to these deaths and all this misery. There clearly is a link. There clearly is a direct action. There clearly is enough evidence. And now tens of thousands of people who have lost their loved ones won't be getting justice because of our overly politicized justice system, which of course protects their own. Now, in my opinion, this is obviously politically motivated because if Andrew Como gets held responsible for this, so should the governor of Michigan, so should the governor of New Jersey, and so on and so on, as of course the states that were most ravaged by this sickness were the ones that implemented these absolutely absurd policies, literally placing sick people inside of nursing homes when there was entire field hospitals entirely empty. How's that not criminal? I don't know. Ask the Manhattan DA. In other creepy politicians and insider news, today we found out that the Queen's son, Prince Andrew, is arguing that a long secret half million dollar settlement between Mr. Epstein and Virginia Roberts should release him from liability during a civil suit by Virginia Roberts against the prince. Even though this unsealed settlement, which we're now finding out about, doesn't even mention Prince Andrew. A lot of people say that Prince Andrew and his legal team are implicating themselves here. As of course, they're trying to say that they were a part of hush money, trying to shut up Virginia Roberts, even 
though there was no mention of Prince Andrew in the document, how will that release him for any liability? It doesn't. The civil case is going to continue here, and the prince is becoming more desperate by the day, as just recently they had to held emergency legal meetings, as of course there was just a major decision against Ghislaine Maxwell, which obviously will favor the victims in this case against future court cases and future individuals like, of course, Prince Andrew. We're also learning today that Ghislaine Maxwell is set to be charged again for lying under oath in her 2016 deposition from a previous defamation case also surrounding Virginia Giuffre. Now, will Maxwell be additionally charged or have a stricter sentence because of this clear perjury? Well, of course, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on this story since, of course, this is in the public interest and, of course, something that the corporate media has wanted to go away. Will Ghislaine Maxwell even make it to her sentencing? That's the question a lot of people are asking themselves as, of course, the judge in this case just announced that Ghislaine Maxwell will get a third medical procedure done to her, all in the name of fighting a sickness. Yeah, I have a lot more to say about that, and I will be talking about that, plus a lot more later on today exclusively on LukeUncensored.com, where I definitely want to go over in detail this latest video released by the El Salvadorian government, and in today's video, I will be talking about my own personal health and wellness tips, tricks, supplements, what I personally do to take care of myself and have such of a shredded body as the one depicted here on LukeUncensored.com. If you want to find out about this plus a lot more and get an additional video later on today, go to LukeUncensored.com where we just released yet another master class on travel and escape hacking and you can watch dozens and dozens of new videos which are only available available exclusively to LukeUncensored.com. I keep surprising myself with how much value I try to give you guys here on LukeUncensored.com. And whether it's apocalypse survival training, change media university journalism training, expatting, travel, escape hacking, all of those masterclasses are available for you for free on LukeUncensored.com. Holy cow, I'm absolutely impressed with so many videos available for you, all exclusively on our very own platform where we are building things up like never before. Seriously, uh, wow. And these platforms are very important, especially with all the latest news surrounding online censorship, which leads us to our main story, as of course, YouTube and Twitter have been caught deleting scientific debate, conversations, and of course, political discourse, all in the name of creating echo chambers, pushing the narrative, and helping out big criminal financial institutions, essentially allowing them to have a monopoly on the market of speech surrounding their products, something in, in my opinion that is absolutely absurd and just as extremely dangerous for the future discourse of this country, which is being tightly controlled by unelected, undemocratic, big money connected individuals who clearly have an invested interest in controlling the ideas that people could even think about. Once you censor the science, you don't have science, you have propaganda. And to live in a world where people's thoughts are controlled through major information highways, where conversations are stopped where people are afraid to express scientific data. That is a world that, of course, is becoming ever so dangerous to the general public, as, of course, truth is the enemy of many empires. And that's why I have to commend U.S. Senator Rand Paul that just announced that he himself is quitting YouTube. Yes, U.S. Senator Rand Paul, just after the major censorship efforts on this platform, has announced his, quote, exodus from big tech and announced that he will be no longer posting videos on YouTube unless, quote, it is to criticize them or announce that viewers can now see my content, unquote, rumble.com. Why are U.S. senators moving away from big tech? Well, obviously, they are become, becoming too unaccountable, too powerful, and destroy anyone standing in their way. And I have to commend the moves made here by Rand Paul. As, of course, the censorship has gotten so crazy that even people who have basic questions about 
What is going on here? Questioning the official narrative, questioning the science, or as really as it is the propaganda, those people are even being censored themselves, and I think they have a right to ask some serious questions. As, of course, the official narrative, the official agenda has fallen flat on its face and has absolutely failed. People are asking the questions. Why is the entire United States in the red when it comes to the alleged new cases? Why are people like Jimmy Fallon, who have taken three procedures, who were boosted, just gotten sick, along, of course, with the U.S. Defense Secretary that not only took three procedures, not only was boosted, not only wore two face masks, but literally wore face shields almost everywhere he went, and he still got sick. These are, of course, some very serious questions that many professionals, quote, experts in the corporate media are not answering. And what has been their response? What has been the government's, the bureaucrats' response to all of this? As people have their lives interrupted once again, as people who have complied, taken this procedure, asking why are their gyms being shut down? What's the government's response to all of this? Well, in Germany, they had a procession of sheeps, almost 700 of them lined up to make a fake syringe in order to pr to fight against this sickness and people who are hesitant of the government. Yes, in 2022, the jokes write themselves as, of course, more and more people are having their lives intervened by the state and brutish thugs with weapons that are carrying out orders of bureaucrats and literally arresting grandmothers like this video shows who are trying to walk their dogs because they didn't get the right government permission to do so. This as Hamburg, a city in Germany, just announced that only people who have taken the third procedure, who are boosted, are now only allowed to enter restaurants, cultural, and sporting indoor events without, of course, having to go through a test. A policy that, of course, was already instituted in Israel, and it looks like will be instituted here in New York City, where, of course, the city has gone through four months of a domestic passport system already that, of course, has abjectly failed to stop or even lessen the spread. And soon the city will be instituting another step in this domestic passport system, which, in my opinion, is absolutely freaking crazy. Why do we got to do the same policies that clearly didn't work the first time? Well, that's a, that's a question that, of course, is not being answered by Dr. Fauci, who, of course, doesn't do any hard-hitting interviews, doesn't do any debates, doesn't reach out to the other side, doesn't counter a lot of important talking points made against him. What does he do? Well, he's been spreading a lot of mistruths, which he should be fact-checked about, which he should be held responsible for. As, of course, he promised everyone that everything would go back to normal. The sickness would stop if people just took this product, which he wanted them to take. An overwhelming majority did, especially in places like New York City, that some days are now responsible for 25% of all cases in all of the United States. This lunacy is being doubled down in such egregious matters where... The White House just released this video. Again, I have some very strong things I want to say about this. I'm going to talk about this later today on LukeUncensored.com. But there's a lot of disinformation. There's a lot of bullcrap. There's a lot of lies out there. And the current system that we are living under is preventing those lies, those propaganda, those pieces of misinformation from even being countered because they are a part of the official narrative which cannot be questioned on big tech social media again one other reason why i started lukeuncensored.com and why i want to have private personal relationships with individuals who are investing in the future of this independent media organization and i hope to see you there later on today where we will be releasing yet Another video only available for you guys, the members of this independent media organization. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys actively watching and sharing these videos. If you thought what I said was important, get it out there to the general public because that's one of the few ways that these videos actually do get out there. Your voice, 
your time, you voting with your dollar, you voting with your clicks and shares absolutely matters. And because of that, I still think we have a glimmer of hope for the future, which is defined and manifested by you as an individual. I love you guys. Stay tuned for a lot more here on wearechange.org.